Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation. We have 2z, or not 2z, allow me to make that joke, plus z bar, which is the conjugate of z, equals 6 plus 3i. So we're trying to solve for z, obviously z is a complex number, and I'll be presenting two methods, even though the methods are fairly similar, there are slight differences. So let's start with the first method. To solve this equation, I'm going to write z in standard form. Since z is a complex number, it can be written as a plus bi, right? a plus bi, yes. So now, if z is a plus bi, then z bar, which is the conjugate of z, is a minus bi. As you know, you get the conjugate by changing the imaginary part only. So now, let's go ahead and plug it in, 2 times z plus z bar equals 6 plus 3i. Let's go ahead and distribute 2i, 2a plus 2bi plus a minus bi equals 6 plus 3i. 2a plus a, a is a real number obviously, so that's going to be 3a and b is also a real number. 2bi minus bi is going to be plus bi and this equals 6 plus 3i. Now when two complex numbers are equal, remember the rule, you're going to set, so let's say if you have x plus yi, and I probably should use something like, not z, but, so when you have something like a plus bi equals c plus di, then this basically implies a is c and b is equal to d. So from here, 3 is a, 3a is equal to 6, which means a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 3. Since we're looking for z, and z can be written as a plus bi, the answer is going to be 2 plus 3i. So that would be the only solution to this equation. All right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So the second method, again, uses a similar idea. If you know of a third method, I couldn't think of one. Let me know. I try the polar form, and maybe I'll show you after this. So another way to do this is using the polar form of a complex number. So we can write z as r times cosine theta plus i sine theta, right? And then we can go ahead and find z bar from here. Z bar is just going to change the theta to negative theta, and sine is going to be negative. Make sense? Let's go ahead and plug these into our equation, and we get 2 times r times cosine theta plus i sine theta plus r times cosine theta minus i sine theta. Let's go ahead and simplify this, and then we'll set it equal to 6 plus 3i. We're going to get 2r cosine theta plus r cosine theta. That is going to be 3r cosine theta. Now we're going to get 2ri sine theta and minus ri sine theta. That's going to give us plus ir sine theta. And this is equal to 6 plus 3i. Now how do you set it up, right? Well, the real part is 3r cosine theta. So this is equal 6, which means r cosine theta is equal to 2. And this is supposed to equal 3. r sine theta is equal to 3. So how do you find z from here? Remember, z could be written as r cosine theta plus i sine, r i sine theta. So z is r times the quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta. Of course, in this case, it's better if we distribute because we don't have cosine theta sine theta. We have r times those. So we can go ahead and just write it like this after distributing the r. And now we do know that r cosine theta is equal to 2, so this is going to become 2. And r sine theta is equal to 3, and that's going to be a 3. Therefore, z is going to be 2 plus 3i as before. Obviously, that should give you the same answer, right? But, so before we conclude the video, let's go ahead and take a look at if we could use the Euler's formula for this one. So could I just write z as r? e to the i theta, because that's the most compact form, thanks to Euler, 
you know, uh, when a complex number is written in polar form, we can actually make it really compact. So, obviously, z bar is going to be r e to the i negative i theta, because what happens is theta is changed to uh, negative theta, but since cosine is an even function, it's not affected. So now, if you plug these into our equation, remember it was 2z plus z bar, and now this is going to be 2r i theta plus r i to the power r times e to the power negative i theta, and this is equal to 6 plus 3i. Now the problem here is, to be able to solve this, we need to solve the quadratic equation. So you can kind of write this as 2r e to the i theta plus r divided by e to the i theta. And then if you call e to the i theta something like t, then you could go ahead and come up with a quadratic equation. The problem with that quadratic equation is there's going to be two variables. Okay, so we're going to get 2rt plus r over t, which can be written as 2rt squared, 2rt squared plus r divided by t, but you can go ahead and multiply by t both sides. And then if you distribute, you're going to come up with something like this, 2rt squared minus 6 plus 3it plus r equals 0. Of course, you're looking for t because that's going to give you e to the i theta. So you have to solve this quadratic equation. But when you write the quadratic formula, you get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that's going to be 8r squared. So the problem with that is... How do you solve for r? You don't know what r is, so you kind of have to have an idea. I couldn't come up with something meaningful here, but uh, if you do have any ideas, please let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.